Hello, welcome to My Dry Bag Steak. Today we're doing a dry aged standing bone in ribeye roast. When using a My Dry Bag Steak with a bone in cut, there are some special tricks that are necessary in order to get a good bond and in order to ensure that the bones don't puncture the bag. Today we're using a five and a half pound bone in roast piece of meat and we'll be using a roast size bag. Now, this bone in roast that we're using today is taken from the chuck end of a whole bone-in ribeye. So we're using that very right hand end, not the center cut, the forebone cut, or the short end of it. Now, in order to ensure that this trade piece of meat can get a good bond, especially along the bone shell here, and to make sure that these sharp points here don't puncture any holes in the membrane-like Umay dry bag steak material, we're gonna employ a piece of paper towel, which you see coming into the screen here. We're going to take paper towel and fold it into a narrow strip and use that to cushion the bone tips so that they neither pull against the dry bag steak material nor puncture holes in it after you've vacuum sealed it. So fold up your paper towel, dampen it, and make sure you squeeze out any extra moisture so that it doesn't cause any problems when you go to seal. So we'll take this bone guard and we'll make sure we cover these two areas that have sharp bone points. Um, particularly at this one end, we find that there's a, a very sharp piece. You may even want to double it over if you find that you have any razor sharp bone points. We're going to take this roast and squeeze it into the bag, pressing the round soft end into the end of the bag so that when we're pulling a vacuum we don't have the bag pulling on any of the bone tips, pulling against the bone tips. So you'll see we've squeezed it in there now. If you have any of the blood proteins on the inside of the bag, um, you may want to wipe those off before you seal. Uh, first, we're going to put that second patch of paper towel, damp paper towel bone guard on there. And then it's important to always trim your bag so that you have only about a four inch tail there on the opening. Okay? Once we've got that ready, we're going to make sure that we prepare the opening of the bag by crimping it like this giving a little texture and then fitting in the vac mouse vacuum aid so that we can seal this up in Umay dry bag steak on a regular common food saver style channel sealer. Okay, we'll align the opening of the bag and the vac mouse with the sealing bar and the gasket. Make sure the bag is nice and flat, then close the lid and press the setting if your sealer has it for doing a wet seal. As the vacuum is being pulled, make sure that you assist in getting the air out of the corners and particularly with a bone-in product, massage the material against the bone shell so that you get the best possible contact with those moist proteins. Now check your seal. In this case, we found that there was a little bit of moisture in there that it pulled in from the paper towels. So we're gonna make a second safety seal. Again, using the wet setting. Once it's done, check your seal, make sure there's no moisture. It looks like we have two very clear, solid seals. And judging from the excellent contact that we got with this application, it certainly looks like we're gonna get a good bond and have some good aging results. So you wanna dry age this just as with all dry age product between 21 and say 30 or even 45 days, and you'll end up with a beautiful bone-in rib roast. Thanks. Enjoy.